morning. I'm Dave Scott from the National Center for Appropriate Technology, NCAT, and the ATRA program. Welcome to Montana Hot and Lamb. This is our farm. We have about 240 ewes here. And we'd like to show you today how to tell when a lamb is finished. We're looking for 20 hundredths of back fat, 20 to 25 hundredths of back fat. We're going to show you two lambs today, one that's not finished and one that is correctly finished. Yep, she's perfect. Let's compare these two lambs. This one here, the back lamb, is, is an unfinished lamb. You can see by Here's the backbone, the spinal processes right here. You can see on either side of the spinal processes, there's very little fat yet filling up. And the top of the backbone looks just like the top of your fist right here. That's how it feels. When it's finished, it's gonna feel more like this. So with your own hands, you carry your own reference tool right here. So. This, uh, this unfinished lamb here, with our feeding system, she's probably a month off, maybe a month and a half. We feed alfalfa hay and a tiny bit of barley. Let's move over to the, uh, the finished lamb here. On a finished lamb, what you're trying to strive for is 20 hundredths of an inch of back fat. 20 to 25 hundredths of an inch of back fat. That is just a skinny quarter inch, about that much. That's all you need. And the reason why you need 20 hundredths of an inch of back fat is your customer that you sell the lamb to, the lamb cuts to, he's gonna want a delightful dining experience. Sorry, girl. And with 20 hundredths of an inch of back fat, you're combining leanness with just the right amount of fat. So how do we find 20 hundredths of back fat? <laughs> Visualize again, it's about that much, a skinny quarter of an inch. And as you put your hand on it, you can press down. And that's what you're feeling there, is 20 hundredths, just a very slight quarter inch. As you run your hand across her, her backbone, Push back and forth like this. A lamb that's correctly finished gives you a slip. The fat tends to slip as you push. A lamb that has like 30 hundredths or more fat, it won't slip too easy. It just jiggles. The whole, the whole back fat here moves as one piece and it jiggles. That's how you can tell if you've got too fat of an animal. The other thing that you can check while you're here is the, the loin area. This area here is where your loin chops are. And in most lambs, that area will finish a little bit ahead of the back fat. That's okay. That's just kind of the way the lamb's built. So again, just rub your hand over here. Visualize what a quarter of an inch is and press down. And remember that you've got a reference point in your own fist. This is unfinished. You can feel all the, the spinal processes here, my knuckles in this case. And when your hand's extended, you can feel it's much smoother and it feels like fat in between the, the spinal processes here. Now you can kind of imagine that when you don't have all this wool here or, and it's a full fleece, it's going to be a little bit harder to feel the, the back fat and the lumbar fat here. 
It just comes with practice. So how do you calibrate your fingers? If you're lucky, you might know somebody with an ultrasound machine and he might come to your 4-H club meeting and show his machine off. That's exactly what happened to us. A number of years ago, we, uh, we had that uh, fella come in to our 4-H club and guess whose lambs he, he showed us on. <laughs> That's right, it was ours. So we, we kind of calibrated our fingers that way and we kind of remembered it and we did it a lot of times and so <laughs> we, we've remembered it. If you don't have that kind of opportunity, what you can do is pick out two or three of your lambs, go through them, pick out the ones that you think are finished and follow them to the butcher. Look at them when they're hanging <laughs> and then think back how they felt when you were picking them out. This, uh, this does take a little bit of practice, but after a while, it's kind of a, a fun game <laughs> and a little bit of practice, you'll be a pro at it. In summary then, remember that you've got your own tool on your, on your fist here. An unfinished lamb feels like this across the backbone. It's kind of like a mountain ridge. You can feel it right here. <laughs> a finished lamb feels as if you extend your fingers out and then feel across that kn those knuckles there. That's just what her backbone feels like. Remember the slip here at about 20 hundredths? It's a nice slip. If it's more than 20 hundredths, or like over 30 hundredths, you're going to get a jiggle there. <laughs> and incidentally, all of your show lambs, like your 4-H lambs and your FFA lambs, they're finished more than what we're talking right now about. They, that gives them a uniformity and kind of a polish to them. So it's two different things. And if you have too much fat, on your lamb, it's going to give the customer when they eat a chop or something like that, it's going to give them a, a sticky feeling on the top of the roof of their mouth and that gives the lamb industry a lot of grief. You don't want too much fat on your lambs. That's all there is to it. If you have any questions or just want to talk sheep, give me a call on the Atro Hotline. I'd love to talk sheep and I'd love to talk to you. Thank you.